Hi, I'm Nick Taylor. Um, I did component six, which is practice and application. Um, my lesson will be towards um, adult English language learners who are studying for their citizenship exam, and we'll be talking mostly about the three branches of government. Uh, this will be, we'll have already had a lesson on each of the three branches, and this will be more of a review with kind of just bringing the three together. For my lesson, the uh, content objectives are that students will be able to name the three branches of the government, and students will be able to explain the relationship of the three branches. As far as language objectives, they are that students will be able to write about their government compared to the U.S. government, and students will be able to discuss with their partner the relationship between the three branches. So here we go. Let's review what we've been learning. Um, does anyone, can anyone tell me what the executive branch is? The president, right. And who is the president of the United States? Barack Obama. Now, can anyone tell me who the first president was? Because this will be on the exam for sure. George Washington, that's right. George Washington was the first president of the United States. That's why he's called the father of our country. Um, now, how many years does the president serve for? How many years are in one term? Four, right, four years. And how many terms can he serve? No, there is, there is a limit. He can, he can only serve a certain number of terms. Yes, two, homie, yeah, that's right. He can serve two terms. Now, can anyone tell me what the president does? Maybe someone besides Hamia. Yeah. yeah, the president signs laws. And what else does he do? Yeah, he controls the military. That's right. That's why he's called the commander in chief. So, in our in our brand, in our government, uh, the executive branch is the president, who is Obama. Um, what about in some of your countries. Hamiet? Yeah. Erdogan? He's the Prime Minister of Turkey? Yeah. Johan? What about in Germany? Who's the executive there? Angela Merkel? She's the Chancellor? That's right. So a lot of countries have will have an executive branch. Uh, Kim Jong-un is... Yeah, he's, I guess, the executive for North Korea, but that's that's definitely different than, than how the executive works here. Um, can anyone tell me about the legislative branch? What's it called? Congress. Yeah. All right. We talked about Congress. It's split up into two houses, right? Two houses. Congress is split up into two houses. And what are they called? Can anybody remember what the houses are called? Yeah, the Senate. And the House of Representatives. Now, what is the main duty for for the Congress, for the legislature? Anybody know? Right, they sign. I mean, they they make the laws. It's their job to sit and argue. And deliberate and come up with come up with laws for the government or the, for the people. Now, what is the main difference between the Senate and the House of Representatives? Who knows? John. How many the Senate? The Senate's smaller, yeah. Um, now, why why is the Senate smaller? Anybody know? How are they divided? Yeah, the Senate has 100 people because there's two for each state. And the House of Representatives is bigger. Does anyone remember why? Right, because the House of Representatives has is split up based on size of the state. It was a compromise they made so that in the Senate, all states would have equal power, but in the House of Representatives, 
the larger the population, the, the more power, the more representatives you would have. All right, now the judicial branch. What's another, what's, what do we call this? Supreme Court. Good. And the Supreme Court, uh, how many of them are there? Not six. Nine, right. Nine. And does anybody remember how long, what, what do we call them? What do we call them? The people who serve on the Supreme Court. Judges, that's close. Justices. There's the Supreme Court justices. There's nine of them. Right. Now, how long does a, is a Supreme Court justice, um, how long is, is he elected for? No, not six years. That was the Senate. Right. The Supreme Court justices are elected for life. Once they're on there, they're on there until they decide to quit or until they die. And who elects the Supreme Court? Who puts the who puts the people on the Supreme Court? The president, right? So the president nominates Supreme Court justices, and then who has to approve them? Right, the Congress. So the president will decide. That he wants to put a person on the Supreme Court, but for them to go on there officially, the Congress has to vote to approve it. Good. Now, what is the what does the Supreme Court do? Yeah, they they judge. They're they they're like judges. Um, what what is their role compared to the other ones? The president signs laws, and the legislature makes the laws. Supreme, what the Supreme Court does is they rule on the laws to make sure they uphold the Constitution, is the phrase we use. They uphold the Constitution, and it's their job to make sure that any laws that the legislature makes or anything that the executive branch does meets the guidelines of the, the U.S. Constitution, which is, the Const what's the Constitution? Yeah, the amendments and the, the, it's basically the most important document, the rules for how gov how the U.S. works, for how the government is set up and how the government works. So it's the Supreme Court's job, the judicial branch's job, to make sure that they, that the legislature and the executive branch uphold the Constitution. All right, next we're going to review uh, with the bingo. We're going to pass out the bingo sheets. And the way this game works, you've probably played it before. Um, there's answers on all of the different corners and all the different squares. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a question. And if you have the answer to that question written down, then you can mark it off with your, with your pen. And whoever gets five in a row first wins. So, all right, you got all you got your sheets. You ready? Okay. How many terms can a president serve? Well, we're not going to say the answers now. Just if you know it, then you can write it down. Um, what is the legislative branch called in the U.S.? We didn't we didn't talk about this in our review just a minute ago. But what is the vice president's name? Okay. How long does a Supreme Court justice serve? How many senators are there? How many House of Representatives members are there? What's up, Vashik? You got bingo? Good job. You win. Okay, now what I want you to do is um, get up with your partners. Try not to be with the same partner that you're always with. Um, but you can choose your partner. And we've got a graphic organizer I'm going to have you fill out. And just take two or three minutes to 
try to fill out the graphic organizer and showing the different the different branches of the government and and what their roles are. And try to you can write in the spaces beneath what the powers and responsibilities of each branch of the government are. Okay, so I'll just give you two or three minutes to fill those out and, and discuss with your party. It's been about three minutes. Who can tell me what the first line? Sorry, I got a drawing on the board. Doesn't look quite as nice as it does on your paper. Who can tell me what this line is? Vashik? Yeah. That's right. This line would be the executive branch. And then how about this one? Amiet, the legislative. Johan, the judicial, right? Okay. So then, how about underneath of executive? Peter? Yeah, the president, right. And you guys remember the name of our president? Of course. Obama. And then what would be right here underneath of the president? Vice president, right. Vice President. And what is his name? Joe Biden. Good. Okay. So then here, underneath the legislative, we have Congress, right? And then we have this two, two branches off, split off in Congress. And what would they be? Starts with an S. Senate. Yep. How many members of the Senate? You may remember? 100. Good. Now, we got the Senate here, and then what would the other one be? The bigger one? The House of Representatives, right. All right, does anybody remember how many people are in the House of Representatives? How many? Right, Hamiet. 435. Why again is it split up? Is there bigger in the House of Representatives? Right, because it's based on the size of the state. So which state? This is extra credit. Which state would be the would have the most? No, not New York. California, right? California's the biggest. So then, finishing out our graphic organizer, we have the judicial branch, and what would be right? Supreme Court. Good. All right, so now that we filled out our graphic organizer, we'll move on to our next section. Okay, now, now what we're gonna do is uh, take out your journals and we're gonna do like a, a little writing sample. And I want you guys to think about your, your home governments, uh, whether it's Turkey or the Czech Republic or Russia and write down in your journal kind of compare what your government is like that you grew up with to what the United States government is like that we talked just the way that the format is so we'll take 10 minutes or so to to practice writing in your journals and then we will kind of discuss okay all right uh Looks like ten minutes is up, and let's let's talk. Uh, what did you guys What did you guys write about, Vashik? The yeah, the Czech government. What did you write about the Czech government? It's really similar. You guys have a Supreme Court, you have a president as well, and you have 
a Congress is split up into two houses. Okay, so it's it's really similar over there in, in the Czech Republic, huh? But you guys also have a prime minister and a and a president. Okay, so your executive branch is kind of split up a little more than the U.S. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, and yet in Turkey, Turkey has a prime minister and Erdogan. Uh huh. Okay. What about what's the Johan? What's the legislature called in in Germany? The Bundestag. Okay. So it's, that's pretty close to the, it's like a parliament or like a congress, okay. And Peter, in Russia? Okay, so Putin in the, is the executive branch and he kind of has a little bit more power than the executive branch here. But you guys also have a legislature and, and parliament. Okay, and parliament split up into two houses too. Okay, so it's, it's still sort of similar to the U.S. Okay. And then uh, someone mentioned Kim Jong Un earlier. Yeah, that was their government's very different from the U.S. They have an executive who kind of rules absolutely. Um, he doesn't have what we call checks and balances with the three branches. Kim Jong Un is like a dictator who rules over everything. So that's good. Uh, I'm glad you guys got got to think about your your home government and compare it to kind of see what the US government is like in comparison to what you already know and apply it to apply it to how you grew up and, and the governments that you were raised in. Cool. So thank you. Um and we'll have class again next week. And make sure you bring your books and do your do your chapter readings. Thank you.